It's another year at Secret World Wildlife Rescue and already the first orphans to arrive are two otter cubs found cold and crying on a road. Head of Animal Care, Laura, assesses one of the cubs for its condition. They are the most expensive of our orphans to rear, but very cute. Hello everyone, my name is Marie and I work at Secret World Wildlife Rescue Centre. Now, this is Sunny. He's a little leveret who is six weeks old now. He came in to our centre when he was two days old. He was found in the road all on his own. As you can see, he's very keen for his milk. Come on. Doesn't take him long to uh, guzzle down 20 mils of milk. Let's get to some more, shall we? And when leverets are born, they're both born above ground, they're fully furred with their eyes open, unlike rabbits. <laughs> They'll be going for his release very soon now, uh, within the next week. So it'll be lovely to get him back to the wild. How strange to see Secret World with no visitors at Easter time, which would be our open days. We miss seeing them and their kind support. With all the fundraising efforts cancelled, it's worrying times. But spring doesn't stop because of the virus. There are lots of casualties and orphans needing our care, and we are here to help them. A tiny fox cub arrives and is given life-saving lectade. He is very weak, but with Georgie to look after him, he will be fine. There is also a badger cub called Monty, who was only three weeks old when he was found on a footpath. Katie gives him his bottle, but he really needs a friend for company, especially as his eyes are open. He will soon be wanting to play. The otters are now feeding themselves and starting to take fish. They have gone from two sleepy otter cubs to savage wild animals that can no longer be handled, which is exactly what we want. They will be with us for another year. Leslie, our CEO, has her first release of a swan that has now recovered. Safely transported in a swan wrap, they make their way to the Somerset Moors where swans congregate for the winter. This young lad was found on the M5. Uh, he probably thought it was a uh water or something um, and so he was found on the central reservation the police called and he was picked up and he's been in secret world for a few days having some rehab yeah he's now well enough to go and join some others so we've brought him down here um, as you can see there's quite a few other swans uh, around most of them will be quite young ones it's Leslie's turn to experience some of the joy of being close to nature and this beautiful world we live in A second cub has arrived called Marlene. They are both almost the same size. At last, Monty has a friend to play with, just as they would underground, too small to wean.
The otters are now in the millie block. It means they have water available to them to play in whenever they want to. And here you can see the night camera catching them as they play in the water. Dan, one of our section leaders, has returned to where a bat was rescued. Now the bat is up to wait, it's time for it to go home. It's being watched by the person who found him. Warmed up in Daniel's hand, the bat recognises where he is and flies away. Another success story. Finally, Marie's Leverett is going to his new home. Hours of care that Marie has given him means that the small Leverett has survived and is now ready for his second chance back in the wild. So many people say, how can you bear to let them go? But that is what Secret World is all about. The aim is to love, to give the best care, help them to recover, but always with the aim of returning the animal back to where they belong. We are classed as an essential service. We rescue, rehabilitate, and release all manner of wildlife that comes into our care. But we receive no funding and work purely on donations. If you feel that you can, please donate to the following number. Thank you.